I went I went to see Smashing Pumpkins uh, Christmas show, and it was fucking amazing because I have loved like you know how everybody grows up with like that band that they stick with for life. Sure, right. Like for my dad, it was Pink Floyd. For for like my stepkid it, Gavin, because he grew up with his grandpa, like Beatles. For me, it's definitely Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah. And like, dude, it was fucking great. But I could not. Be, um, I don't. You, you look like you were about to say something. Mm-mm. Oh, keep going. Well, yeah. So so no. It was. I, I kept hearing. Have you ever heard of Albert Hammond Jr.? Yeah. I strokes. Yeah, I never heard. I, I I kept seeing that at like the Metro because he'd always play. I'm like, oh, that's he sounds like some. You know, like super trendy. I don't know. Like, like I, I he kind of is. But I, but, it still sounds good. But, but I thought it was like some Steve Aoki like dubstep stuff. <laughs> and then, and then I saw him. He, he was fucking awesome. Yeah. It, it was really good. He's good. Wait, I, he played with the. He he opened up. He was the first band before Smash Pumpkins. Okay. And how many he, openers were there? Him and then one another one. Okay. And that I mean, it sounds like it sounded to me like the Strokes mixed with maybe like at the driving. I okay, don't know. cool. Yeah. But yeah, it was he put on a good show. And then, dude, the second band. So good. What was the, do you probably the name of the band? Granddad. Granddad. Worst Granddad. fucking band I have ever seen. Really? In my I go to a, so many shows, I don't exaggerate. Worse than Sheer Mag with the 500 pounds singer. Worse than Stargazer Lily? Oh yeah, absolutely. I like Stargate Oh, all right. I mean, they, they, no, they they don't they're they're not good live, but I still love that band. But sure. no, no, Granddad was so fucking bad. Oh my god, everybody. Once one person started like yelling boo, everybody started screaming shit. Oh my, like no, dude, they fucking the crowd turned on them. Yeah, yeah, oh. including me, because because you, you know that you know what I did? like everybody laughed their ass off because you know when uh you know that video of uh, Trump's inauguration when that lady goes no. <laughs> like he he went he was getting mad so he's like yeah so anybody n- y- you know for the 70 people getting involved in our songs guess what we got five more for you and i just no <laughs> and he looks right at dude it was so fucking bad it was like why was it bad dude wait it was what was the band like was it a band was it just a yeah it was band? it was a band it was a complete fucking copy of every song was a different like Rage Against the Machine riff, okay. and then he was doing spoken word, and then like in between songs. Not side note: this guy has like he's got a it, it, it's. I mean, he's like this white dude with a huge like Angela Davis afro, and then he's got a mustache like dick pubes, and he's got his voice sounds like Perry Farrell on Helium, <laughs> straight like and, like and and he's he's real he, his his wrists were so flimsy like he just like so when he's doing this spoken <laughs> when he's doing this when he's doing this spoken word he's like this next song is about police abuse you did it you did it you did it you you know what it's like you're from chicago let's start this bitch up who's with me he's I'm, like this I look up this band now it was so fucking bad. Oh my! And every every song is that one rage riff. It, it, like literally, I'm not joking. It'd be like, and every like, I felt like every syllable ended with e. So just picture that riff going. And it's like, yeah, this is the philosophy. It's all about me, about this hypocrisy. Let's choose land over sea. It's just over. <laughs> That's pretty good. So I'll listen to that. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> dude, I cannot. Oh man, I, 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 I just it blew my mind that they would like it blew my mind that first of all like Albert Hammond Jr. was an after him, yeah, and then also like they they sound like somebody who'd play you know at a fucking VFW or <laughs> you know so were they the first very first opening band? No, no, they were the they were after Albert Hammond. Oh, weird. So so yeah, it was really like i mean i mean he was getting so nervous he's like all right anybody who isn't down with this with this political stuff i'm saying you can go somewhere and that's called the bathroom and then like Whoa. and then, and then oh, they're, just like, they're just like okay and then the next song like people are still booing he's like all right i understand you want to stay up front for smashing pumpkins but i'm gonna be in back signing if you want any autographs and they're like no way <laughs> that's so weird oh. it sucks what an opportunity they squandered then 
It's just, yeah. Playing right before Smashing Pumpkins, that's huge. Yeah. Still, I mean, I, it, it just bothered me that like, like this. That's all he is doing. That's already been done. You know what I mean? So, so it's kind of yeah. like writing a fucking coattail. You know what I mean? That's still with a horrible voice. <laughs> <laughs> so I. Oh man, that's still like, come on, crowd. <laughs> right. Like, okay, I'll go shit in a bucket, and we'll see if you say "come on, crowd" for me. Okay. I, you know, they're doing the best they can. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, it's it's weird to be a, a comic, and then like, yeah, I'm a little sensitive about heckling because I hate. When oh I yeah. See it. I hate when I see it, but I mean that's a different scenario. Mm-hmm. It's weird to see. I forget that musicians get heckled too. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a, it's been a while. I've been heckled as a as a musician. I I've always felt bad for like musicians that get heckled, but yeah. that time I was like no fucking. That was just. I mean, it would be like like uh, you're saying like you like Tom Segura, yeah, or John Mulaney. What if you, like tomorrow you're opening up for them? You know, that'd be bananas. I mean, like I in your place you wouldn't feel right. Sorry, right? right? Like yeah. I, I'm not That's up to this, you know. That's interesting. So so Albert was good. Granddad Horrible. was was far from grand. Yeah. And then the Smashing Pumpkins. Absolutely awesome. Um, I don't know. It, you know, it was really funny because I, I always talk on the show how much Billy is a fucking douche mm-hmm. <laughs> and how much I love James because a lot of the songs he writes is amazing. And he was, you know, it was it was the full lineup other than Darcy. And, oh, you know what else? I mean, I wasn't pumped about this because I don't give a shit about them. But uh, each night there's supposed to be a special guest. And so yesterday was the singer of Rise Against. <laughs> oh, oh cool. well, uh, is that so. Lauren Grace or is that against Tim me? Oh. Armstrong, I think. Wait. Tim something. What? No, not Tim, not Armstrong. Tim Armstrong. He's ranted. What's his na- Do you know? No, I don't remember his name. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not nuts about Rise Against, but I, the the other thing that was awesome is they, uh, um, J- the w- Billy stepped off to change into his other crazy costume, and James sung Friday I'm in Love by The Cure, which was fucking awesome. Oh, they That's they awesome. played it? Yeah, yeah. Nice. It was fucking great, and and yeah, I don't know, but yeah, it was it was a great show. They they played. They had one song that they didn't play. Uh, that I l- really like was mayonnaise, and I was ready for Cameron's head to pop out. <laughs> 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 he no. loves it when people say that. Man. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, no. But they played like everything that was fucking great. I, I don't know. It was it was as cheesy as it sounds. It was like pretty fucking life changing because I've been wanting to see them since eighth grade. You know, so I don't know. It was a good show. That's awesome. Good. They uh, it was because it was a Christmas show, so they had like a. So they played s- all their Christmas album songs. No, no. <laughs> A very smashing Christmas. Is that is that real? No. No. <laughs> Comics lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, they um they had a they had a Santa Claus and a bunch of like uh midget people dressed up as elves okay. to take pictures with. There's a snowman. Um this, you know, this is ridiculous. Yeah, no, you know it was really ridiculous because it's sponsored by Q101, the radio station, yeah, and like WKQX. It's also okay. sponsored by like sports clips. So so like in between like random moments be like that was granddad remember sports clips it's good to be a guy you know like, oh god <laughs> so it can be sports uh, clips it was yeah it was really goofy that they that you're sponsored by those guys <laughs> actually funny you should mention that okay goodbye today's episode is <laughs> brought to you by sports clips you watch hey, sports look like look haircut. at the sh- look at the shine in billy's haircut on that bald cap god. <laughs> That but shit doesn't make sense to me. That sports clip shit, like stuff geared I towards men, it. or like you know, uh, head and shoulders for men. Does that make any that. fucking sense, really? No, it absolutely yeah. doesn't. It's it's just garbage. But it's your hairdresser is dressed up like a referee. Isn't yeah. that fun? Jesus Christ! She keeps or he rather keeps all their supplies in a little locker. They should change the meaning to head and shoulders, like getting a blowjob and a massage. <laughs> you know? Ooh. <laughs> well, what makes it for men? Do you have dandruff on your penis? Is that really what's happening? <laughs> I mean... It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, the stuff geared specifically towards women or specifically towards men I'm, doesn't really make yeah. any sense to me at all. I'm not even trying to be offensive. Like, I wonder which gets more dandruff, like a vagina or a penis stick. Uh, what? I would <laughs> I would have... I don't know. Probably a penis, I would <laughs> say. I mean, I'm not a doctor. It depend. I mean... <laughs> is that a it, thing? What, Do you what, get dandruff? 
Well, head and shoulders no. for men. Th- I mean, that's why I'm asking, oh. Mr. Sports Clips over here. That's uh, that's the commercial for head and shoulders. <laughs> for men. Yeah, like, yeah. You don't have dandruff on your penis, and he's like, I know exactly. It's just <laughs> it's <laughs> just ashy rotted skin, you know. Yeah, woo. Well, they call that something else. They call it <laughs> smegma. <laughs> you ever hear smegma? No, what is smegma? Oh, no, I remember <laughs> the, that. The other word is dick cheese. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, is smegma the scientific term? <laughs> I don't know, actually. I heard it when I was like in high school, and that's what they're calling it. Well, that's, that's oh, what no, it is, it is a scientific term, I think. I think I Googled it. Huh. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like a little, f- it's like a gross film that forms on your penis if you don't wash it. Ugh. Yep. That's what the yeah. gym smells like. That's what I decided to talk about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> I need a uh, different adult. So you know what it probably is is the smell. Like four men probably smells like sawdust and so, sawdust <laughs> yeah. and rodeos. <laughs> sawdust in your crotch, man. That doesn't sound good. Uh, well, it's called uh, like this head. Oh, okay, that head and shoulders. <laughs> okay, you it know. Like I'm getting football. confused. Yeah. Yeah. No, like it's I'm not a real man. <laughs> well, probably because like there's head and shoulders for ladies, which there is, but it's why? What's the f- the smells, man? I'm telling you, it's the smells. I, I head and shoulders that. for the decapitated. It's ooh. so it, just shoulders. Oh, no head and shoulders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Anyways, so you anyway, yeah. had a great time at Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, no, you know what's awesome is like before that, I, like because obviously people are there to see them and they're going to play, they have a shitload of great songs. You know, the encore was like 10 more songs. And when yeah. that happened, they dropped a shitload of like yoga ball sized red and green balloons. Nice. Mm-hmm. That was really funny. And that was because part of like the, the Knights Who Stole Christmas. Yeah, series. yeah. That's what it's called, the Knights Who Stole. But, um, um, the yeah, the funny thing, like they kept spiking it into Billy's face, the balloons. <laughs> <laughs> he's just stops. See this fucking crowd, <laughs> man. <laughs> he stops the song. He's like, you know, old Billy would get mad at this, but how about you guys? I love balloons. You can go pounce them all, burning in hell with your balloons. Okay, and then he continued the song. <laughs> so <laughs> that what a <laughs> that crowd sounds awful. Yeah. Like. Oh, we hate Granddad. We love the Smashing Pumpkins, but we're still gonna fucking abuse the singer. Like <laughs> I, 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 I'm completely content with that feeling. Uh, no? um, I can, I can explain myself. <laughs> that's that's the the Buddhist influence in your life, like yeah. fucking with Billy Corgan. No, you need you need some you need some balance, and 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 you know what? Buddhism has nothing to do with art. If you're a bad artist, then wh- I mean, in Buddhist, you know, with ba- in Buddhism and balance, you know, if you tell an artist you're a piece of shit, that's going to, in turn, positively help them to get better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you that's why, I'm yeah. sure that's why people are throwing balloons at Billy to encourage him to <laughs> to well, to get better. Well, we, well, he, they're throwing shit because because of karma because he's he's a huge dick. So isn't that sort of the rules of karma? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I feel like that's not the path to enlightenment. Right now, I, 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 right now, this is karma. Me telling you the truth, okay? Because you don't know the truth about Billy Corgan, man. I, I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> no, no, keep, keep it. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, let's change. So you saw Coney, you saw Smashing yeah. Pumpkins. Did you get any merch at Smashing Pumpkins? Uh, no. No, because like t shirt is probably like sixty dollars or something. Yeah, like yeah, and 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 I don't like. I think a lot of their shirts because they're like an old school band. I think like the shirts online are better than like a tour shirt. Yeah, because they keep trying to like update their logo. Like you know that you know the heart with the S and P. Mm. It now it looks like an arrowhead because it's like futuristic. Ooh. So mm. I don't know. I I don't know that I wouldn't get merch for. There's few bands that I do get merch for. Really? I feel like, yeah. Huh. Um, I always more or less try to get at least a shirt, a tour yeah. shirt specifically, just because uh, I am a 27-year-old man-child, and I still wear <laughs> band T-shirts everywhere I go. Oh, shit. No, I'm good. I, yeah. I've, I've been thinking. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I got this because I like the design, you know. Sure. <laughs> but... I'm no, I have a power trip long sleeve shirt. <laughs> oh, is <laughs> but so I, you do buy merch. I, I'm sometimes. getting a shitload of long sleeves lately because I because of welding because I don't want to burn my arms, mm. and I never really like. I was like, why the fuck do people wear long sleeves? And I don't know. I think I have a reason for it now. Sure, but uh, I don't know. I always wear long sleeves. 
or like at least a sweater or an overshirt. Chris, yeah. how do you feel about sleeves? I like uh, what is it? The quarter. Oh. I like the like, like the, the baseball. baseball. Yeah. yeah, like the baseball tees. I like those. All right, so tell me. I have this uh, two concerts I've been to. I've picked up those, and the bottom. I find always starts curling into itself because it's not like hemmed or it's not yep. sewn. Do That's you what's happening. is that I'm wearing one right now. How do you how do you combat that? I don't know. I More just, crunches. I, I, I didn't notice it until you mentioned it just now. Now I'm super self conscious. Oh I'm s- <laughs> <laughs> well, it it's is just, rolling. What the hell? I feel like I need yeah, to start buying extra larges because it's a large but then like it starts rolling up on you, so yeah. now you're you like gotta t- you gotta tuck it in. I never noticed that. That's, That's right. I, I do tuck it in, but I feel like there's not enough. I think I just need to move to extra large for those baseball shirts. Um, I think I'm not giving you any more candy. <laughs> Dude, so <laughs> fucking. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's. <laughs> Get fucked up, dude.